special. Yeah, just look at all that metal in there. Metal. Oh, it's just all this Ooh. copper. Maybe a piece Where? of. Oh yeah. That's like a crazy lash. Did that other video tell you how much we should have? What is that, like 30 thou? 30, 35? So, kind of thought we were gonna get this uh, ARB fixed tonight, but there's uh, no way that's happening now. If you have a look at this, might be. Let's get some light in there. You might, you can probably even see that movement on the camera. It's way, way too much. There's uh, like 35 thou movement in there. It's supposed to be apparently five to eight. Um, so something's wrong. Someone didn't set the gears right in this thing when they originally did it. And unfortunately, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here, but yeah, I, I think you can see that if it would just focus. There's a little bit of pitting on each one of the teeth. How's it looking, Steve? Looks good. Good looks enough. Good. I think it's better than the first one. Oh yeah, it looks really good actually. All right, so got this uh, ARB all torn apart, and um, we're very happy we did. We found, uh, Steve found a tremendous amount of uh, metal in there. Um, we're pretty confident that the culprit for the metal was uh, the actual uh, seal carrier for the ARB airline, where it goes into the locker, was riding on the uh, inside of the bearing, and uh, just yeah. putting little shards of metal through everything seal carrier and and all that copper tube they got yeah ate up in there but so can kind of see in here you can kind of see in this edge here a little bit shiny in there that was where everything was uh was running on so Anyways, kind of unfortunate, but uh, we got this thing apart and uh, we'll deal with it and <laughs> should be good going forward. All right, so we got this thing jacked up. We got the... Uh, differential out of it on the floor here for a rebuild um we need the shop yeah now we need the shop so we're gonna have to uh push this out so we've got the floor jack here um under the back end no axle in it we just fixed the brakes put a block of wood in the brakes 
put a block of wood in the brakes um, as well as the brake pads just to simulate the rotor and then uh, this way we've got brakes so we can uh, put this in 4x4 and drive it out. See the notch in there now, guys. As we press this on, it's going to uh, allow us to pull it off with no no hiccups. Go a little pressure. That's good. We actually got a proper case spreader. We were thinking about making one, but time didn't really permit. And uh, here she is. And I'm kind of glad that we bought this because it's pretty beefy. Um, and we would have spent quite a bit on just steel and parts to build this. And I think it was 130 bucks or something like that. So um, not bad at all. And they'll do uh, Dana 30 up to, I think, a Dana 70 or 80. So fairly universal too. I'm sure we'll be using it a number of times. Pretty simple. <laughs> so we got the case spreader on here. Um, as you can see, this is our uh, nice Amazon purchase. And right now we are going to spread this case out to um, out to. It says don't exceed twenty thou. So. That's our hope. So we finally got this rear end set up. Preload is pretty close. Not super happy with it, but uh, it's close enough to spec. The uh, the mesh looks good, and uh, we got the ARB line route routed. So just got to uh, get in the pinion seal and uh, retorque the pinion nut, and then we'll be done. Got the airline routed there. Turned out really good. It was a uh, it was quite a pain uh, getting these bulkhead fittings in with the truss on here but uh it worked out just fine you can actually see where the uh the previous guy had drilled the bulkhead kind of right here so it pretty much run right into the bearing cap and the, he had a short little run into there which is probably part of the reason that broke off but now uh, we got this uh ground out here it's not touching anything there it's not touching anything around here and uh, it's it's pretty stiff it's not going to go anywhere so pretty happy with the way that turned out and uh 
yeah, good pattern on the gears. Just going to uh, retorque the uh, pinion with the seal in it that we got right over here and throw this back in the Jeep.